Hi, I'm Isabel, an artist and instructor at the Bainbridge Island Museum of Art, here with another Art in Action. Today we'll be creating a paper puppet with moving joints. To make paper puppets, you're going to need scissors, if possible, two pairs, a big one and a little tiny one, because we need the sharp points of an embroidery pair. Paper fasteners like this, if possible, and get some smaller ones too, they have them in art shops. Um, some wooden sticks, they can be barbecue sticks or um, chopsticks. You need pencils, a white pencil and just a HB. Some wall putty for, that you use to temporarily put artwork on the wall. And some black and white cardstock and some tracing paper. In this project, I'm going to show you how to make a paper puppet with movable joints. You can make them colourful, like this one, or you can make them, turn them into shadow puppets, like this one. Puppets have been used since earliest times to animate and communicate ideas. Puppets can be used for entertainment, and they are worshipped as sacred objects and are used as symbolic effigies in celebration. So let's make puppets. So to make a paper puppet, um, start with just a white piece of paper, and we're going to use this to map out our puppet pieces. Um, so we can make the whole body jointed like this. So you've got the torso, and I've got the arm is in two pieces, and the leg is in two pieces. Um, or you can also, instead of having a body, you can make it into a dress like this one. So I've made the whole body in one and then just added the legs on the bottom. And the arms are in two pieces. And here you see another one. So I'm just going to draw a dress and then add the legs on and show you how to join them. Here's another map just to show you. So start at the top of the page with the head. And think about the torso and the neck and body. I'm showing where they're going to cross over and this is where the paper fastener will go eventually. So this is the top of the arm and here's the bottom of the arm. Here's the hand, which I usually just simplify to one piece like this. And you could join that too or you can make it all one part. I think I'm going to join that as well. And I don't have to draw that again because it will just be repeated. I'm going to just lengthen the dress a little bit. This is where the legs will join on. And if you want to, instead of a foot, you can add a shoe. Then I'm going to take my tracing paper trace out the parts. So you're going to need two of these. So we need two of these. Put the top of the arm. Now we need the bottom of the arm. I just cut the hand out because I didn't have to worry about the rest of the arm. Remember to leave a bit of neck onto the um, body part so you've got a place to attach the head. You can even put your tracing paper on top of your black paper and cut them both out once. Speed things up. 
So to um, join the two pieces of the arm together, make a tiny hole where they cross over. Use the tip of your sharper small scissors, or you could use um, like a, a sharp um, tiny stick or something like that. Um, and then you get your paper fastener and put it through the first one that's going to lie on top. And you put it through the back one. And then you open up the back. And now this should move like that. And I'm going to join the hand on the same way. Now she's all together, we need to attach a stick so that we can control her when we're doing the sh uh, shadow puppetry. So now I'm going to get two of these sticks, barbecue sticks, and a little bit of this wall putty. then uh, the fasteners won't share. So you want one near a head and you could have just one on an arm or you could have two on the arms. Make sure it's fastened quite strongly. And you can hold the sticks and you can bring her to life. And she's ready to be in your shadow puppet theatre. Thanks for watching. Feel free to share any work inspired by this project. Until next time, it's art in action.